Hello, I'm Charlotte Rushton. I'm the managing director of the large and mid-sized law firm business at Thomson Reuters. And I'm here at the 22nd annual Law Firm Leaders Forum here in New York City. And I'm joined by Karen DeMassey, who is the managing partner of litigation at Cravath, Swain and Moore. Thanks so much for joining us, Thank Karen. Thank you for having me, Charlotte. So Karen, you participated on a panel today called The Newest Generation, which was focused on the challenges that law firms have in managing and leading the, the next generation, the, the millennial generation, which I know we understand in, within five years will become more than half of the employees of, of the AMLAW 200. So what were some of the challenges that were discussed on the panel? Uh, the panel was really interesting, uh, and, and one of the, the people that joined us uh, was Larry Richard of Lawyer Brain who walked us through some of the social science around some of the challenges and choices, frankly, that, that millennials bring to law firms in terms of decisions about where to start one's first job, as well as what keeps millennials at a law firm. And so it was really interesting to hear not only anecdotal information, but also the social science behind this newest generation that are now our colleagues. Right, that's interesting. And I know one of the challenges is that this generation, the millennial gen generation, are more prone to move jobs than the previous generation. So how do the law firms think about the training and the promotions and um, really the return on investment for their lawyers yeah, in that sure. context? Uh, so, so we think of it not only as a challenge, but as an opportunity. This is the next generation of lawyers who will run our firms in the future and we certainly think of them in this way right. and so the way we think about uh, the Millennials that that starters our firm is what what are these colleagues looking for in a workplace and so one of the things that we that we learned as we were listening to Dr. Richard uh, was that Millennials are more likely to look for things like social connectivity uh, to firm culture which years ago was not as big a, a marker if you will of where a, 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 a new lawyer might go to work. Uh, looking for meaning and purpose, which is kind of uh, all, almost a little bit, um, I don't know, spiritual, if you will. And, and it's not so much that as wanting a place where you really feel that you have an identity, a professional identity. Yes. Um, and also a place where a firm is really investing in you and caring about you personally, not one as a number, um, but but as an individual person. Right, that makes sense. And can you talk a little bit about what you're doing at Cravath, Swain & Moore to, to address some of those areas? Sure, so for a number of years now, not, not just starting with myself, but we uh, have recognized that we have this newest generation coming in and we're really doing what I've called a, a listening tour. We are asking associates what they're looking for and trying to be responsive for that, um, to that. Uh, it, is, it is one of the things that uh, you know, led to, to the compensation increase that Cravath led a couple of years ago. Right. But even aside from things that are as concrete as salary, for instance, we're hearing from associates that they want things like transparency. And so one of the things that our firm has started and that the other um, outside counsel that were on the panel also mentioned is that firms now have things like town halls. Um, there are, at some firms, uh, it, there are associate committees. Uh, there are ways to socially engage with associates, cocktail parties. Um, there are uh, social, you know, times. There are uh, programs that are offered uh, to encourage people to f with their time outside the office. So one of the things we do is we have a panel that uh, happens every summer where we give associates information on how you buy a home, living in New York City, uh, childcare, having a family wills and estates and it's just a you know we care about more we care about you more than just in the office we care about you as the whole person and so we try to listen and we try to be responsive great that makes a lot of sense so if you were to give us sort of the one big takeaway from the panel what would you say that would be uh, I would say again that the, the takeaway is to listen we have a lot to learn from this new generation uh, lawyers are used to being creative in our law firm practice in our business and we need to be creative in our management um, in our office with our colleagues and I think the more open we can be and it's one of the reasons why the panel was terrific to hear what other firms do um, to hear what other ideas are and if we can listen and if we can be responsive and if we can be empathetic to how this new generation perceives and experiences the workplace, uh, we and our clients will all be better off. 